Today I'm going to show you how I list books to sell on Amazon FBA using a third party listing site called the seller list. Now you could definitely use the free version of listing on Amazon Seller Central and I highly recommend that you use that listing platform if you're new to Amazon because it's free. In order for you to use a seller list you have to pay a monthly subscription of $34 which in my opinion is completely worth it so long as you are actually doing a decent enough volume meaning you're actually serious about Amazon FBA and you have multiple products that you want to send to Amazon. What I've done here is created a batch and once you create a batch all you need to do is scan in or type out the identifying information of the product that you want to sell. The first book that I want to sell is Physical Geography Laboratory Manual. What I could do is type this out. What you'll see is that it populates all the different searches. This happens to be the book that I want to sell and what I'll do is go ahead and click list with new SKU. What this does is pop up all of the used offers, Amazon FBA Prime and also Merchant Fulfilled. I'm more interested in Prime because Amazon FBA, you're selling books via Prime. And so this is who I'm really competing with. You can see a couple things here that the lowest used price right now is $61. Amazon is selling this for $75.99 new. One thing that you should know is you're never going to be able to sell your used book for super close to the new price because most people would just spend a few extra dollars to buy it new. In this case, I'm gonna list this book in this range between 61 and 72. And the way that I determine what I, I wanna price it at is by using this data from Keepa that tells me things like the sales rank over time and the price of that book over time. So the first thing that I see when I'm analyzing this data here is that the sales rank of this book is pretty good. It's consistently below 300,000, especially during these times of the year between January and February and August, September and partway through October. Those would be the two textbook seasons where books tend to sell more frequently and where you could probably sell them quicker and for more money. But something that I noticed is that the used price is pretty healthy on this book. It generally doesn't go below, let's say $50. However, it is true that Amazon's new price does change and has been as low as $63.99. So that's something to look out for because let's say I list this book today at $65 and then tomorrow Amazon is selling it new for $63.99. There's no way that I'm gonna sell that book. So I would have to periodically check back to see what my the price of my books are through my inventory. But what I can do here is probably compete with this low offer. I would say that $61 versus $76, there's definitely somebody willing to pay, you know, $14 less for this book to get it much cheaper. But I could probably squeeze a little bit more out of it, especially since this book looks like it's brand new. I mean, it still has a shrink wrap on it. I don't think anyone's ever used it. Now, I'm not going to sell this book new because I would never sell a book new on Amazon. You just run into more issues. But what I would do is probably come in right under this guy here. Instead of 7088, I'm going to go at 69.99 because that seems significantly different or at least different enough than 75.99. And so for my price here, I'm just going to come over and type in 69.99. But what I need to do is put in my buy cost here in order to see what my actual profit would be. If you watched my last video, you know I paid $25.17 to get this shipped to me. If this book were to sell for 69.99, not only would I recover my entire investment, I would also make $27, an over 100% ROI. What I need to do down here is just go ahead and select the condition notes. I told you that this book looks like it's brand new. I don't think it's ever been opened. I would feel very comfortable listing this as good or very good. I do notice that looking at the book, it looks like there is a little bit of edgeware. So I would under promise and over deliver and say that this is a good condition book. And then I have set up my condition notes here so that it's very easy for me to describe the quality of this book. Because I'm listing this as good, I'm going to use one of these three and I'm going to say that it has moderate wear. So I'll say clean, crisp pages, free of highlighter and annotation markings. Uh, book shows signs of modern where to spine it and or cover item may be missing bundled media such as access codes i would highly recommend you put that in your listing just because sometimes books come with access codes and if you don't have it and you're not clear that it might not come with it somebody could be really upset and leave you a negative feedback if you sell them a book that doesn't come with the access code ships directly from amazon 100 percent satisfaction guarantee and of course you could change these condition notes and edit them any way that you want this is just the way that i've set it up this is the december batch one this is the SKU prefix i've given all of these books that i'm going to list under this batch i'm just going to go ahead and press this add to batch what's going to happen now is my dymo label printer is going to print out a label that 
I'm going to go ahead and put over the barcode of this book. That is how an Amazon employee will identify this book or this product as being mine. And that's it. This book is now labeled. Once this book is received at an Amazon warehouse, simply all a worker would have to do is take a barcode scanner and scan the back of this book. And then a robot or a human, I'm not sure which, is going to take this book, put it into their inventory, and that's where it will sit until somebody actually buys the book.